Hey everybody, happy new year. Can you believe it's 2023? I mean, what in the world? That's so crazy. Uh, as you can see, the setting's a bit different tonight. We are currently in my room. Uh, it's nighttime, it's actually past midnight. My daughters are sleeping and I was just so pumped about this video that I was ready to share it tonight. So uh, if you have your Bibles, you can grab that. Uh, but first I want to just kind of give you an intro to what this video is. So some of you I'm sure have heard of the Daniel fast. And for those of you who haven't, I would love to enlighten you a bit. Um, the Daniel fast is typically a 21 day fast that people will do. Um, you can do 10 days, 21. I have chosen 21 days, you know, just cutting out all of that to truly just delve in to the word and focus on the Lord. Um, my mom is a believer. And so every year she sends out a group text to the family and she's like, Hey, everybody, uh, as a family, we're going to do the Daniel fast at the start of the year. And every year I say, I'll do social media. I can't do, you know, no meat, no, you know, <laughs> no sugar. And, um, and I know that makes me sound horrible, but it's the truth. I would just find you know, maybe I could do no desserts, like no bread, you know, but, but to do the full on Daniel fast, like, oh, that's not for me. And so anyways, it was so funny because God is awesome. And about three months ago, I started reading in the book of Daniel. And as I was reading it, I just felt this conviction of, I want you to do this. And I want you to do this at the start of the year. And I, it was so prevalent on my heart and my spirit that this was something God was asking of me that nothing could persuade me or change my mind. I just was set on it. Like, I'm going to do the Daniel fast and I'm going to honor God and obey uh, his, his leading. Daniel is a prophet. There is a book of Daniel in the Bible. The book of Daniel is going to be in, your, in the Old Testament. Um, <clears throat> so the author of the book of Daniel was written by the prophet Daniel and exiled during the Babylonian reign. Uh, the reason he wrote this was in order to show them that God's hand was in all that was happening. This, this is from Zach Wendall, uh, the Bible study. I love these Bible studies because they really do set up the books for me and help me understand, you know, just all of those pertinent details about the book. So one thing I want to read from this book in particular when Daniel and his buddies were being immersed in the ways of the Babylonians, they remained faithful because they knew who the one true God was. In return, their obedience called for a large amount of favor from the Lord. He also gave them skills and wisdom to be the best of the best. The favor resulted in Daniel being an official in Babylonian royalty for nearly 70 years. So, uh, some key words in this book that Zach has written is dream, kingdom, authority, and time. And I know for me in my personal life, those four words I'm resonating so much with. Um, I have always been a dreamer, but it's almost like the Lord showing me it's time to dream again. Those things that you thought were once dead or those, those dreams that you used to spend hours upon hours working at, don't forget about those. Those, are pla those were placed in your heart for a reason, for a purpose. Continue to chase after that. So whoever needs to hear that, that's for you. Uh, kingdom, authority, and time. So this is another one of my favorites. So this is the story Bible. It's literally called the story in the front. Uh, my sister got it for me uh, and I love it so much because, you know, it really does make those harder books in the Bible easier to comprehend. So I know I'm reading a lot in the first part of this, but it's for purpose. Daniel and three other young men were among those taken to Babylon in 605 BC as a part of the first deportation of Jews prior to the fall of Jerusalem. These four have become the most well-known quartet of heroes in the Old Testament. They successfully adapted to the losses of home and family and survived tough training in foreign etiquette. It's not hard to see how they quickly became the king's favorites. Then the king ordered Ashpenaz, chief of his court officials to bring into the king's service some of the Israelites from the royal family and the nobility, young men without any physical defect, handsome, showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well-informed, quick to understand, and qualified to serve in the king's palace. 
He was to teach them the language and the literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years, and after that they were to enter the king's service. So they were chosen, but Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine, and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. I wanted to read that for those of you who had, you know, no knowledge in, in what this, this book is about, what, um, who Daniel is and what the Daniel fast really encompasses. And so, like I said, a few months back, the Lord was really tuning my heart to this fast and, you know, Hey, this is something I want you to do. And, um, you know, I am at a place in my life currently, uh, where I'm believing for things, right? I'm praying for things and I'm declaring and decreeing every day. I've written the vision down Habakkuk 2 and I'm I'm saying, God, you know, I trust you for these things. I, I, I long to see these things into fruition. I don't want to do a fast just to get what I want out of life. Like, that's not what the fast is for. You know, the scripture says some things only come through prayer and fasting. And you know, when I look at that scripture, it doesn't mean that we fast just to get what we want or we fast just to get God's attention. That's not what the fast is about. When we fast and we say, I love meat, but for this time, I'm going to lay this down to spend time with you. It's showing the Lord where your loyalty is. It's also strengthening your inner man. And it's getting yourself to a place of awareness of God and understanding that like, you know, life is tough. Things are hard. I'm believing for things and I may not be seeing them yet, but Lord, like I want to partner with you. I want to walk with you in this and know that we can do this. And, and I know your will is going to be done in my life because I'm adhering to you and I'm, I'm your daughter and I'm, I'm longing for your will. But like, I also want to get and see things through heaven's eyes. Like I no longer want to think, oh, like I'm, I've been waiting for things and now I'm going to build resentment towards you, God, because you're not answering my prayers. Like, no, like I want to do this and be a steward of this fast. In the past, I have fasted and ultimately it's good that I'm, I would be going to God, um, to fulfill my needs. Right. But I would fast with the wrong motive. I would fast in a sense of what, you know, what can I get from this? What can I gain from this? What doors will you open God from this? And I went to, I got to a place towards the middle of last year and I said, you know, Lord, I don't want to fast to expedite your plan. I don't want to fast to just have you finally open the doors like I've been praying for. Like, if I'm going to fast, I want to know that you have asked this of me and that, um, and, and this is just me personally in my season, right? But, but you have asked this of me and, and that I'm doing this from a purity of heart. I'm doing this to truly just honor you and obey you and to grow closer to you because you are my source. So whatever comes from it, that's not necessarily what matters. What matters is what I gain in it. Like, what am I going to gain in this fast in terms of um, seeing you more clearly? And and the gain is never, it shouldn't be about ourselves, like what can we get, but it should be more of how much more of you, Lord, can I gain? How much more intimacy with you can I operate in? How much more am I going to tune my ears to you as opposed to the distractions? That's what a fast does. A fast removes those distractions. If you know, you've started this year and you haven't gone on a fast and this, this was not something that you started doing when the year began, it's not too late. You can very well jump in and, and start your fast now. If you're listening to this and you're feeling conviction by it, like, you know, I think it's time that I remove the noise and just focus and hone in on my creator. So I'm going to be posting a few more videos about the Daniel fast, some of the meals I've made. Uh, so for those of you that want to 
glean from that, you're welcome to. So thank you for following along as usual. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. It's gonna give you the notifications uh, every time I post a video. And tell your friends and tell your friends' friends. Okay, bye.